The best treatment of all of these things is prevention. And my whole career has been based around the term prevention. But here's the problem. In medicine, we start with the ambulance parked at the bottom of the cliff, waiting for people to fall off. So instead of fixing the rails at the top of the cliff, i.e. prevention, what do we do in medicine? We make faster ambulances. And do you know that if you combine those five things, no addictions, good sleep, good nutrition, exercise and happiness, you reduce your risk for all diseases somewhere between 70 to 80% is not to get them in the first place. It's called prevention. Nihama. My name is Dr. Ross Walker, and I'd like to thank you for the honour of being a speaker at the very prestigious ICA Talks in your wonderful country. Imagine a world where there is no disease. Imagine a world where everyone is healthy and full of energy. I believe that is the future of medicine. What allows me to make these bold predictions? I have been a doctor for just under 40 years. I've been a heart specialist for over 30 years. But we all have a journey, and often along the journey, our hardest lessons in life are our best teachers. And I was privileged that my hardest lesson came when I was only 17 years old. This man here, this young man here, was my best friend in high school. And one week before our final exams, he drowned and died. I was devastated. There was no way I could study. I thought I would fail my exams, but his grandfather who was one of the greatest ever Australians, a man called Sir Lorimer Dodds. He said to me at the funeral, Ross, you and Jack were going to do medicine together, now you have to do it for both of you. And I've been practicing medicine for the last 40 years for myself and for Jack. I've been speaking in wonderful forums like this to try and promote the message of good health. So what is going to happen in the future? Over the past few decades, there's been an enormous effort around the world to try and reverse ageing. What about the major advances in medicine? When I started medicine 40 years ago, you had a one in three chance of dying within a month if you had a heart attack. Now it's well less than 5% because of the advances in the treatment of heart problems. We now have beautiful images of the heart, beautiful images of the heart, that can, just with an intravenous injection, you can get a magnificent picture to know exactly what's going on in the heart. We also now have, instead of major bypass surgery, we can put stents across blocked arteries. We're now putting in valves from the arteries in the leg, replacing heart valves to stop people having major operations. So things like major operations on the heart will be a thing of the past in the near future. We're also now 3D printing organs and we're going to see transplantation stopping when we perfect the 3D transplantation of the 3D printing of the heart, of kidneys, of the liver. This is going to be happening in the relatively near future. We've heard a bit about cancer treatments today. The old treatment for cancer, major operations, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, quite effective, but they also damage natural or normal parts of the cell. Whereas these days, what we're doing now is taking people's own cancers, personalised cancer management, and creating a vaccine against the cancer. You may not realise this, but a cancer cell has an invisible shield around it to stop the immune system recognising it. And that's why the cancer grows and grows and grows. We are now retraining the immune system with immunotherapy to kill that shield and retraining the immune cells to kill the cancer. Recently, a study was done on laboratory animals who had advanced melanoma and with the combination of a personalised vaccine against the melanoma and immune therapy, there was a 100% cure. I believe cancer will be cured at some stage over the next 10 to 20 years, if not sooner. 10 million people in China alone suffer some degree of Alzheimer's disease. And up to now, we had no treatment for Alzheimer's disease. <laughs> 